Cheers, guys. Chagramas here going down Tucker Valley Road. So if you know why we're going down Tucker Valley Road, put that in the comments now. But if you don't know, we're actually going to You Pick Farm. Yeah guys, we're going to You Pick Farm. It's somewhere we wanted to go for the longest while, but we just never found the perfect day to go. So yeah. we think today is a good day to go. No or never. <laughs> People actually go there for breakfast. Apparently there's a list of like fruits and vegetables that you could actually order and they'll come and drop it to your house, which is very cool I think. Also there's a, the, the part where you could go through the greenhouses and actually pick your own fruits and vegetables which is pretty cool. So if we could do that today we'll see. We're not sure. But we're going for breakfast. Yes. So stay, stay tuned. tuned. Jinx. Jinx. <laughs> Knock no on way. wood. No. <laughs> <laughs> coming here to dine so it's going to be fun guys look at all these fig trees off so we're gonna park and we'll see you guys soon mm -hmm. okay guys we just parked and we're heading in there to order some breakfast yeah <laughs> yeah can you hear us with this mask on yeah I'm could you sure. hear us guys <laughs> i mean we're taking all precautionary methods because covid is still around so everybody's got to be safe yeah and us being safe is ensuring that others will be safe as well so you do your part and be safe and wear your mask sanitize Easy. <laughs> Some nice watermelons. Real nice. Poppers. Six dollars a pound. Right. So there's a the kitchen over there, guys. Mm. What are you taking? You don't know yet? <laughs> I want a spinach cheese omelette. Oh yeah, that sounds a, good. With a you pick club. What if I want that too? We spinach cheese omelette. We cannot get the same thing. Why we can't get the same thing? I want to taste from your plate. Oh, fine, then I'll take the ultimate omelette. <laughs> yeah, let's go order. So we're gonna make our order right here, guys. Guys, this place is massive and it's so beautiful. Very picturesque and all of that. Everything is all organically made. Well, organically grown. I should say so it's all healthy a lot of fit people we've seen around here so love is gonna order uh... so we decided to dine outside because it's a lot more natural out here and there's a lot less noise so we're gonna find a place to sit yeah that's where we are oh, look at how yeah, so look nice. at how beautiful this place is guys oh my gosh surrounded by the bamboo so we have our own little bamboo cathedral here <laughs> yeah look at that yeah epic stuff yeah why not we could actually go over there oh i didn't mean here i meant over there <laughs> actually lighting is pretty nice here you look gorgeous <laughs> with that mask on oh so much better though <laughs> so here we are this yeah, is that's... our order number 31 number 31 i keep talking and not filming myself <laughs> yeah guys so they would actually come and bring the food for us so we're just chilling here like the fields out there really nice place yeah talk about the road shot grandma so you guys should definitely come down here and check out this place Macarip road Macarip road talk about road Chagramas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're just waiting here for a meal. I really wanted to go through the fields, through the greenhouses and actually pick some stuff. But apparently we can't do it now because of COVID. Everybody just being safe. And a lot of people were damaging the plants when they picked as well. So they're kind of limiting or stopping people from picking. So they have all the produce inside so you can pick and choose and fill your baskets and spend all your money. <laughs> so we're gonna sanitize our hands now before we eat. Thank you. Woo! So we just got Lovey's watermelon. Oh my gosh. Yep, the bill went flying. Oh, we're supposed to show them what we got. Oh, right. Yeah. Ooh, that watermelon looks good. I know, right? You should have took that as well, but you wanted juice. I was gonna get watermelon for you. Well, I thought I was gonna get fresh orange juice, to be honest, but I mean, this looks good. This is Grower's Pride, 100% pure orange juice, guys. So I'm not gonna put my head on a block for it, but <laughs> it's 100% orange juice, so. Let's see how this tastes. This is our bill. Well, we took the spinach and cheese and a Yupik club first to share. Watermelon juice. I took the ultimate omelette. Yeah, that's the bill. Yeah. There you have it, yo. So we just chill here, taking the lovely breeze. Ah, <sighs> we're all in the shade. We're in the shade. It's very nice out here. Very beautiful day today. Yeah. What are we to start your Sunday, guys? Having breakfast at a very organic farm. Yeah. We're having Fancy breakfast farm. At a farm. <laughs> Yeah, under the bamboo cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, touching everything inside of there. Gotta make sure to sanitize everywhere you go, guys. And how is this for social distancing? Look at how far away everybody is from each other. That's good. <laughs> Such a weird angle, yeah? Mm. How does your watermelon taste like watermelon? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it can't taste like pineapple. <laughs> but it's fresh, eh? Yeah, delicious. I love this mug. We should probably get a couple of those. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that looks lovely. That does look I like the newspaper. <laughs> that is a nice yeah, touch. Cool. Yeah, we can play this game after. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Guys, look at this. Uh, I got a little piece of parsley here. We got it. So this is our sandwich to share. Oh, this is the one to share? Yeah. Oh, we should have tell her bring a blade, cut it in half. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe when she comes back. Yeah. So this, this is, is my so extreme omelette. What is it? Ultimate omelette. And this is my spinach and cheese. Spinach and cheese omelette. And this is the, what was this again? This is the house. Sandwich. This is a you pick um, club? No. Yeah, sandwich. yeah, club sandwich. Yeah, this is. Yeah, well, house. you guys saw the bill. You saw what we ordered, so you know what that is. Just this is rewind. The house guys, get this if you're coming here. This looks so nice. Yeah, this looks better than our main meal. Yeah, this is this is nice. <laughs> but this omelette's fat, yo. Um, really fat. Oh, you bought a knife. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. Right, Thank this you is so the much. House sandwich, right? You pick club. Okay. You pick club. Yeah. Thank, you. Right, Thank you so much. All right, so we're gonna snack, guys. Yeah, I gotta press hard here. Yeah. You probably give me the part with all the meat. Excuse me? Oh, slide in, slide in. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Take yours. Inside that looks really good. Look at that. I know, right? That's chicken and bacon in there. Some melted cheese. Okay, so I guess I'll take mine, put it on my plate. Somewhere yeah, it looks good. Yeah, that's so good. A little butter. Guess we'll have these later. We gotta eat the main course first. Look at the Look how cool. Oh, that's cute. Butter that bread, girl. Butter it. <laughs> Let's see inside spinach. of that. Spinach and cheese. Oh wow, that's nice. It's yes. really nice. You get first bite, then I'll try mine. Taste test. Taste test. Mm. How's that for spinach omelette mm. with cheese? Good. <laughs> I'll get good, good. Oh my gosh. And I'll shred on my stuff. Don't shred on your stuff. Don't oh. lose your spinach. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. This is really good. Try my stuff. This is the ultimate, ultimate omelette. Oh, look at that. Mm, there's a lot of cheese in there, guys. Look at this. Oh, yes. Mm. I love cheese, guys. Who's gonna try this by itself first? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Mm. Yeah. yeah definitely. So far, it's a 10, guys. Definitely. Yeah, everything. This service is very good. Yeah. If you're like that. Good service. <laughs> of course they like good service. Everybody likes good service, no? It's very good. The food comes very fast as well. We didn't have to wait long at all. No, not at all. Like what, 10 minutes? Yeah. 10 minutes. 
about 10 minutes stop so service is good the quality of the food is up there guys definitely come check out your big farm in Chagrin it's going good <laughs> oh love it's always ahead of me damn a couple little bees but I mean we're out in, in nature here so but, and we're on a farm yeah so it's a little expected but it's only a few and it's not bothering the taste of this food at all <laughs> this food is tasting really good yeah guys come here check out your big farm come with your friends your family whoever yeah. the food is delicious yeah guys and we're not being paid for saying that so it's an honest opinion yeah <laughs> we love to go to beautiful places in the country and this is one of them so we will definitely recommend you guys to come in here forward to our videos next year because we're actually gonna be hitting Tobago those adventures will be coming so stay tuned thanks a lot to all our subscribers and YouTube fam we appreciate you guys supporting us doing our vlogs I'm definitely gonna take a sip of that watermelon <laughs> So fresh. Not a lot of sugar, which is pretty good, guys. Time for the big. Uh, let me try my juice. Grower's pride. Let's see. Yeah. I've Just tried like that. some good orange juice. I tried that already. Got in mind, the orange juice from Movie Town. Mm. Look at that, guys. Oh my Bacon gosh. Chicken with cheese. Yeah. Oh, take mm. your time. Next time we just buy this. Honestly. <laughs> Forget about the egg, guys. Go for this. I, I, I like eggs. I don't know, but mmm. Is it good? The sauce is amazing, too. Right. Damn, you tried. That grilled meat is done to perfection. Yeah. This is not one, not a sandwich that you're gonna minge on, guys. Just go for it. Just go for it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. This signature sandwich is amazing, guys. I'm gonna get back at it. That grilled meat is good. Kaya <laughs> not better than this. You probably could have. Well, Kaya not better than this. <laughs> Look at that. Start your morning right guys by coming to Yupik Farm. <laughs> For sure. We just had to take a little walk on this lush green field. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> a lot of flowers guys. We have some banana trees out there, fig trees. We're just giving our honest opinion. The breakfast, well for me, I'll give my opinion first and love you, will give her opinion. The breakfast was one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. Yeah. Honestly speaking, those meals tasted really good, very tasty. Everything was cooked to perfection. Jen. Perfection. Jen. Between here and Chaka Cabana, service is good here as well. Yeah. I actually prefer this food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what's your opinion? How was your food? Delicious. Eggs, everything. Tastes clean, fresh, watermelon. Very good. Yeah. Alright guys, so that's the main place. We dined under there. It's up this nice big field to walk on. Uh, I believe there's acres of fig trees. I remember coming here with some of the kids that I teach art on a field trip and we actually went on the back of a van and they took us all through those fields over there. Lots of um, scorpion pepper trees and pimentos and lots of things like that. It was a really nice field trip. I hope in the future that we could come back here and hopefully get a tour through the greenhouses and through the fields actually get to pick stuff yeah so that was our experience here it was really nice i really liked it yeah it's a little... yeah so now we're actually gonna head home some of you guys have been asking for an update on how our plants are going and it's some bad <laughs> and some good but i assure you that it's more good so we're gonna give you all an update on how our planting has been going our progress has improved it yeah, has we had some complications we did but yeah we'll show you all some of that as well <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna head home now stay tuned stay tuned voila guys look at how huge all peppers have gotten lovey what do you think i love them yeah look at this one look this at one these nicer. guys that is huge this is big as well we might actually harvest this actually yeah and look at the size of our peppers guys they actually grow i don't know if you remember them being like tiny little dots they were so small and we were kind of skeptical if all five pepper trees would grow look at how bushy and on this side we have some huge hot peppers look at this this is big so you want to harvest these two big ones and let these others grow no three big ones we have this one this one and this one Nah, I think we could let our one get red, maybe. Yeah, well, let's go ahead, pick them. Bachak is on them. Oh my gosh. That's a bachak, you sure? You wanna take your nail and clip it? See if we can snap it like right there. Guys, this feels so good, actually. 
picking something that we grew from babies look, look at, at this this is so big it's a hot pepper look at how healthy this is wow this is impressive let's get the other one so this is our official first harvest from starting our gardening remember we started it in quarantine see yeah look at really it. nice oh, look at two big peppers <laughs> yes nice. i should take a picture <laughs> so we have a lot of beneficial insects here and insects that are actually damaging our crops and i don't know which one that is could you tell me what that is anybody knows what that is let's get it off i don't know what it is <laughs> so we're gonna harvest our pimentos mm, so I, I think these three yeah this this one this yeah we one? leave the rest to get ripe oh yeah wow look at that this one's huge yeah and this one Alright, so we'll leave these here. What about this one? No. Oh no? yeah, that's big. Yeah, okay, pick them. So we will leave the others to get huge. So let's see. Look guys, we got a big handful of stuff here. So guys, let's show you the rest of our plants. They're all gone, guys. <laughs> They're gone. We actually re relocated them closer to the, the front door so that they'll they'll be a lot easier for us to access and water yeah. so we're gonna go down there and show you guys the update with those plants you all saw how amazing and how big our pepper bush got they were so tiny and this is our scythe it's well the season is done they started to thin out and we got so many harvests from just this little container here scythe our celery is most impressive dread we're gonna show you guys the celery and the rest of the stuff now one last time with this pepper bush wow amazing Amazing. So impressed with this. Lots of little peppers there. And we got some more little ones here. This right here makes me so very happy. Healthy pimentos and we left the rest to get ripe. So we'll see what they look like when they're all red and orange. And we'll show you guys an update with that. So now to show us, I mean, so now to show you guys our plants. Oh, this is our plant. This is an addition that I got from my mom. This is really small. I don't know if you guys remember. Let's get in close here. These are the carrot greens. They're not actually gonna grow carrots. We will be growing carrots soon But these I was just experimenting with the backs of carrots the base of them and you could actually use this for salads And here we have Jamaican thyme. This is just like big leaf thyme, but it's a slight different flavor smells really good Nice here. We have our rosemary and it's doing pretty well. We season lots of meats with that Here's a new addition this one here. I see it got a little eaten We've had a little problems with some critters, but we're slowly learning and growing. This is actually bottleneck squash. Yeah, that's a new addition. This is a regular cucumber, I believe. Our last cucumbers got eaten. Guys, all of our cucumbers got eaten and they all died. So did all of our watermelon. So we had to get new reinforcements. <laughs> And also our tomatoes took a big hit and we thought they were gonna die but they survived so we're gonna show you guys and how, the broccoli yeah and the broccoli we're gonna show you guys how big those tomatoes and stuff has gotten so this is some nice small leaf basil here it smells so good it smells so good this is our orange tree look it's how getting big close it is. look how big it gets yeah it's growing slowly but surely yeah and guys we made sure to get a nice wood chip mulch so that our soil will stay nice and moist for, for our plants yeah mm -hmm. that's really important let's go here so we have some shard here lovely shard these are the yellow stems i got from my friend michelle and we have the purple stem rainbow shard over here look how nice this leaf is really nice and healthy i actually put some garlic in here to experiment i've never grown garlic so i don't know if it's, this will thrive but we'll see Here's all wonders of the real plants. The last one died. Yeah, but these things grow like weeds, so it's easy. And look at all big celery. We have picked so much celery from this. You have no idea. We season so much different meals with this. And like when you pick, it just grows back. Yeah, yeah and What's we that? were able to make two bottles even. Yeah, we were. Look how big our time got. This was the little one that was in the corner. Look at how huge and it's just growing off of the balcony here. Yeah. yeah, so this is another main source of our seasoning. Here, <laughs> pull out this little pot, let's show them. So this was our mint and it's got eaten up really bad from some leaf cutter ants. And we took a while to figure it out and Look we- Look Oh, uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> pick him up. Let's put him in here, dig up. Oh, where you wanna put him? In here. <laughs> you dropped it. Expose the dirt. Let me hold you. Expose the dirt and let him crawl in. 
Yeah. Earthworms are very good for plants, guys. They aerate the soil, they, they eat the dirt, they produce some nitrogen for the soil. Really, really good. Helps with drainage and all of that. All right, so let's get back to this. So yes, all mint. <laughs> This mint got eaten up and then we got some bachak bait and that's what we used and the bachak took all the bait, took it to their homes and yep, they're not coming back guys. Look at the size of all broccoli. It's amazing. It is so huge. Put your hand under this leaf. Look at the size <laughs> of that leaf. Wow, I'm surprised they, this actually is growing pretty good. I don't know if you remember, these leaves actually had some really small holes in them. But anyways. By the way guys, did you know you could actually eat the leaves of cauliflower and broccoli? Yeah. I think we have eaten this leaf a few times. We have eaten it a few times. Because yeah. when we realized the leaf was starting to go bad or, or the leaf cut hands got it. We just, we just cut it and cut it up and put it in our food. Yeah. It is very good. It is good. It's like a leafy broccoli. Oh, let's show them our seeds. Yeah, go get it now. It has some really nice lightning. Lightning, <laughs> lighting. Oh, here's a beautiful flower. I hope the bees come to pollinate our flowers so that we can get some really nice tomatoes. Yeah, guys, so the trellis is probably gonna prop this up here. Just a, a little one I'm gonna build in the corner here. Or it can be for the lemon cucumbers. Or it can be for the squash. But the squash is like babies, so. Wow, yeah, 100%. That's just the, the bottle, guys. <laughs> this is some of the seasoning that we made. Yeah, yeah, we've been this using this a lot. Finish. Yeah, so it this. A lot of seasoning. Yeah, from all of this here. And I mean, we don't have to buy seasoning. <laughs> so that is a win win if you would ask me. Yeah, it's from all of these things here. Let's get to the big boy. Look at the size of our tomato, guys. There are about four plants in that one pot, and it seems to be thriving. We got a couple flowers. Where are they? Yeah, I got a couple flowers there. So, gosh, I'm sweating so much. Yeah, so guys, I might actually make a trellis today, either for the cucumbers or the tomatoes. So stick around for that. So we have a couple new <laughs> additions here. We have two lovely sweet peppers here. We got some kale also got from my friend Michelle. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. I got some celery seedlings, huge tomatoes. You know those big tomatoes from restaurants that you slice? Yeah, I got about three of these and I got some, what is this again? Squash? Yeah, got some bottleneck squash. Yeah, bottleneck squash. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I made a mistake. Did I say this was bottleneck squash? This is actually lemon cucumbers if I made that mistake <laughs> this is lemon cucumbers so they actually grow like yellow like a lemon and it's it's a ball it's a cucumber in a ball apparently it tastes the same as regular cucumbers or similar yeah just in case I made that mistake those are our plants guys here we have it all healthy we check them every morning every night and yeah yeah. And before I forget guys, I've heard that you can grow a whole tomato tree just from a sucker. So if you don't know what a sucker is, this is a sucker. It's a pretty big sucker actually. Let me show you where they grow. They actually suck some of the energy out of the growth of the plant. What you want to do is you want to take them off so that the plant could focus more growth on the produce, the fruit, and grow it upwards. So the suckers actually grow in the center here. So what I did was I went through these tomatoes and I found the best sucker there was actually only one somehow so there was one sucker in these four to oh my gosh five tomato plants so we actually have five in this pot i didn't know it was so much but they're growing and got down that lovely wood chip mulch there i took off that sucker and they say five to seven days you put them in water and they actually start to grow roots do you see that little white root there let me put it against the black yeah you see that white root there it's gonna grow a couple more of those and then when it grows enough you can actually stick this sucker into soil and it will be a whole new tomato plant ain't that sick I've actually had this indoors for how much days now? About three to four days. And the leaves aren't even wilting. It's pretty healthy. It's a very healthy sucker. <laughs> okay, guys, so rain is falling outside. So we have no choice but to build this trellis inside. And again, the trellis is just for the cucumbers or the bottleneck squash or the tomatoes just to run and interweave themselves inside and also to support them as they bear fruit. So that's the whole purpose for the trellis. This is the frame I'm going to use. I actually want to take this out this could be a little cumbersome so to take that out cut this up into little blocks so that i can put on all four corners down here i don't know if you guys know guys know where this came from this actually came from those um cages that people use to put their shoes in or their clothes in kind of like makeshift cupboards that i actually actually cut out the centers to make the squares bigger so that when the vine actually produces fruit our hands can go in and out easily and the fruit can come and have 
plant and grow through here. So the trellis is actually going to go vertical and I'm going to let the plants go in and out of it. Might paint it, might not. Who knows? Let's get to it. Nice. Buttons. Scan buttons. Buttons. <laughs> yeah. He's gone. <laughs> we also have some zip ties to secure the, the wire, the inner parts of it. Some U nails to secure the wire to the wood itself. So these are very pretty, as you can see. I love these things. Okay, let's get to it. Okay. Just gonna eyeball this. It's not. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's some strong wood. Some strong breeze. Yeah. Let's go again. So that's what I'm going to use as the support for the corners. All four corners have these little dots. Because I want to take out this middle wood. Yeah, I, I think I could reuse this piece of wood and I think it would be cumbersome if I were to leave it here and I put the cages over it. So, so I'm going to fasten these corners and then I'm going to remove this and then start to pound these cages on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, safety first. Yeah, so that's what we have so far. We'll just snip these zip ties. But so far we got on five. Gotta put this one here on now. And it's pretty sturdy. Real rigid. So we finished the trellis as you can see, put it together with the U-nails and with the help of some small zip ties. If any of the U-nails decide to come out, we could just easily zip tie it. Yeah, drill a hole and zip tie it like we did here. See, so we actually drill a hole and zip tie it because it was easier that way. We found out that a little later than expected, but we have a trellis here. So since the tomato has been falling down and it's pretty big, so the idea is to actually rest this somewhere behind there and then start to weave the branches in and out and the fruits can hang on this and be supported. It's very strong. Yeah. And it's a nice size. So you see hands could actually fit through. So when you're ready to pick your fruits, it's a lot easier. You might get a little scrape on these little things, but don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have some remaining spray paint, a little red. So we're just gonna hit this. I mean, we don't really care too much if the wood if the wood eventually rots because we could always just make more. <laughs> so we're just gonna hit it with some some paint just to make it look like something special. Yeah. Okay guys, so we came to the close of this video. Hope you enjoyed our breakfast and our updates on our plants and also we build in our trellis. Trellis, I'm gonna say trellis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys. Yeah, so make a, a visit down to you pick farm. Um it's something that you should experience. The food is amazing and I hope after this whole COVID thing blows over if it ever does because it's not getting any better right now that we could actually go and go through the greenhouses and pick some fruits so we made our chalice and we're just gonna spray it now and we hope you guys like this video but we get to pick our fruits here so yeah and we got to do a little mini harvest as you guys saw and we we're really proud of what we did yeah. yeah so set down some seeds and get growing please share this video with a friend and please click subscribe click the bell to be notified for more videos in the future and as always guys stay safe and, and stay, stay adventurous. adventurous oh thanks again to all our supporters <laughs> and our subscribers right. we do appreciate you and all of your comments that being said so let's get to painting <laughs>